Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. This is the 17th video in my Python programming series, and today we're going to be talking about functions, more advanced functions, and something called optional parameters. So let's just give a quick refresher of what a function is. I'm just going to write one very quickly. I did do another video on basic functions, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check that one out first. Now, here we've defined what we're going to call the function func. And then inside of these brackets, we put something called parameters, if you remember that from the other video. So in this case, I'm just going to put x as my only parameter. And then I'm simply going to print x to the screen just like that. So a very, very basic function, but it's just to give you a quick refresher of what it does. Now, when we wanted to call our function, all we had to do was write our function name and then put a brackets or the brackets like this. And then inside of our brackets, if we had a parameter set, we had to do... We had to give it that parameter. So we could do three, we could do hello. Let's just do hello in this case. And we'll click F5. And we get hello on the screen, just like that. Now we can change this again to maybe Tim, which is my name, just like that. And we get Tim printed the screen. Very basic, very easy, just like that. Okay, so that's pretty much what a function is. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is more uh, in depth on these parameters. So you remember we could give it multiple parameters. So we could do X. Uh, we could do maybe text like this. So we had X and text, and we could print X to the screen, and maybe we'll say if text is equal to, um, let's say, 1, so the string 1, then maybe we'll print text is 1. Otherwise, so else, we will print text is not 1, just like that, very easy. Okay, so now what we have to do when we call the function is we have to give it another parameter. In this case, I'm going to give it 2, and we'll see what happens. We get Tim, and then texter, I misspelled that my bad, is not 1. Now if I change this parameter to 1, again, we'll see that we get text is 1. Now, again, that's just another example, but in some cases when we call a function, and we have many parameters, or maybe we don't have many, but we don't want to constantly be rewriting these parameters. We want to have something called the default value for our parameters. So x, maybe we always want to give our function the value of x, but in text here, we always want it to be set to something unless we otherwise specify. So in this case, I'm going to say text, and then the equal sign, and I'm going to put 2, just like that. Now, here I'm going to remove the 1. And you'll see what will happen here. We'll just run it to show you, and then we'll go in what's actually happening. So we get Tim, and then text is not 1. So what actually happened here is, since I didn't specify a value for text, so I didn't do a comma and write something else here, it defaulted to the value of 2. Now we can prove that by just simply printing out text and showing you that it is actually 2. So we have Tim and 2, just like that. Um, if I wanted to change this value now, all I would have to do is simply put a comma here in the function and change it to whatever I want. So in this case, I'll do 67. And if we print it again, you'll see we get 67. So that's how the optional parameter works. Now, all that you have to do to set an optional parameter is simply type an equal sign after your parameter. So if I have x, and I'll set it equal to 3, like that. Now when I call the function... I actually don't have to give it any parameters because it already has the optional parameter of 3 and of 2, which are going to be the default values if I don't write anything in my function argument here, so inside of these brackets. And you'll see again we get 3 and 2 because those are the default values. Now there is one tricky thing that you have to understand about these optional parameters. Say you wanted to have x stay at the default value, so you wanted it to be 3, and you didn't want to type 3 in the brackets like that. But you wanted to change the text optional parameter to something like 7 or 8 or maybe another string. Well, you can't actually do that. In order to change this text optional parameter, you would have to also set a value for x here. So if I try to, I'll say I just want to set the text to 3. So I'll do like 3 here. It's actually not going to change... Um, Sorry, what do you call it? Isn't, I'll change it to something else so we can, we can see it better. 5, let's do 5. 
it's actually not going to change that second variable, right? It's going to change the first one automatically because that's just the order in which they're defined. So if you want to, if you have more than one optional parameter, you will have to set a value for the one before in order to change the one afterwards like this. So that's the only tricky part about these optional parameters. Other than that, they're extremely useful. Again, you would use them if you're constantly using a function and you don't want to have to keep writing in parameters. You only want to give it a parameter in a very specific case. Then you would have that optional parameter already set so you don't have to keep typing a certain word or you don't have to keep giving it a value like that. So this has been a shorter video, but this is the video on how to do an optional parameter. They look just like this. They're very simple and pretty basic. And I hope you learned something today. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you again in another video.